So, uh, I realized I haven't done unit reviews on uh, the two um, gals, that being the uh, in Khalifa World Tournament Reward Card, as well as the Tekka Kale uh, World Tournament Reward Card. Um, should I talk about uh, what they look like in their SSR? I mean, you know what? Sure. I usually do that for cards, uh, for uh, cards like this, or cards like or other cards. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. I have no problem with doing that. Okay, let's go ahead and put that right there. And let's put that right there. Okay, it's going to be very easy to break down what these cards look like inside their pre-awakening. Uh, so, uh, let's start with uh, Khalifa, because why not? These cards are pretty much meant to be used together. If I remember correctly, these cards came out as World Tournament reward cards for you hitting a certain score threshold during <clears throat> the specific World Tournament at the time. Okay, so this card releases December 20th of 2019, and I'm pretty certain that Kale does release too. Do you get both of them when you get the 23 million points? I'm pretty sure you do. Because I remember getting these two back then. I remember getting these two back then and pulling copies of them. Um, I almost have, I think I almost have one of them rainbowed too. I think I almost have both of them rainbowed or maybe one of them. So let's talk about Khalifa real quick. So Khalifa, uh, so yeah, well, no, let's not talk about Khalifa. Okay, both of these uh, gals come out during the... Uh, Legendary Goku event meta. And you could... You could run them. Yeah, they're both runnable in there. Which is crazy. And the main reason you can run them in there is because they both stack attack and defense. Main, mainly they stack defense. Um, So let's talk about Khalifa real quick. So Khalifa, leader skill, not really important, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. Anyways, uh, leader skill is super int, two key, and 70% of the stats. So easy A area type leader skill. And she stacks attack and defense. Her, her super attack effect, that being, well, super attack, that being energy blast. She stacks attack and defense. And her passive, that being exaltation on a grand scale. Oh, I didn't say that word incorrectly. 60% attack and defense of the star turn. And she gets 10% uh, attack and defense per universe six category ally on the team. And she has a 50% chance to dodge. Very nice. And launches an additional super attack when there is an ally whose name is Kale attacking in the same turn. Uh, and her link set, the Saiyan lineage, Saiyan warrior race, Battlefield Diva, Prodigies, Warriors of Universe 6, and Tournament of Power, as well as her categories, Peppy Gals, Universe, Survival Saga, uh, Pure Saiyans, Universe 6, Rapid Growth, Gifted Warriors, Bond of Friendship, Turn of Participants, and Super Bosses. Let's go move on over to Kale real quick. Kale, similar type leader skill, except she's a uh, leader skill to super attack. She uh, has the same exact super attack effect as uh, Khalifa, where she's stacking attack and defense, mainly the stack and defense part of her card is nice for the Legendary Goku event at the time, and her passive, <clears throat> that being tension on a grand scale. She gets, what's that? No, she, she gives Universe 6 category allies 20% attack and 10% defense. So nice, she supports in her SSR, of course. And Pure Saiyans category allies get 20% attack and 10% defense. And she starts out with 120% defense. Granted, you have a Khalifa attack in the same turn. She does a guarantee super. So she's a dual support type unit. And if you are a Universe 6 Pure Saiyan character, which of course Khalifa is, you're going to be giving 40% attack and 20% defense to this Khalifa. So Khalifa is pretty much meant to sit in slot 1 while Kale sits inside slot 2 and supports her. Because Kale only really has this 120% defense as well as her guarantee super to help her stack her attack and defense. As well as Khalifa having pretty much a, a similar thing where she starts out with an attack and defense buff and she gets strong with more universe six category characters on the team while having her a chance to dodge and a guarantee super built into her <clears throat> so she's mainly meant to sense out of the first slot have that dodge chance have that guarantee super for her to build up as well as her have her attack and defense buff and khalifa not khalifa excuse me kale is only meant to really have the support type of the since high slot to do her guarantee super and have that 120 percent defense so um <clears throat> is there anything i'm missing for kale what a category does she have well that she doesn't have that Khalifa does have I would probably say she's on Peppy Gals right yeah she is um Peppy Gals Universal Swell Cycle let me see they both on Pure Saiyans they're both on Universe 6 both on Rapid Growth um not on Gifted Warriors <clears throat> not on Gifted Warriors okay um and what else is she not on yeah that's it they're on Bond of Friendship they're on Turn of Participants and they're on Super Bosses not on Gifted Warriors though okay all right, um, so that's going to be it for um, Khalifa and Kale. Uh, just follow the option to run for the Legendary Goku event grants. So you have like a little um, Universe 6 mission to run. You just run this these two as a rotation. Um, and if you have better options, I don't remember what exactly the options were back in 2019 for Universe 6. 
I wasn't really keen to run Universe 6 back then, so I'm just going with what I'm seeing. They stack attack and defense. They both have guaranteed supers built into them. One supports and will sit inside slot two. One will have a do have dodge chance, um, get strong with more Universe 6 category characters on the team, and start out with a moderate attack and defensive buff for an SSR, of course, as well as stack and attack and defense. That pretty much sums up these cards. So, with the SSRs out the way, let's talk about the TURs that both get their awakenings. How many years later? Man. So, uh, what was that? December 20th of 2019? It was, yeah. Wow. You guys get your awakenings almost, almost like, maybe like five plus years, four, five plus years later? Just about? Yeah, that's five years. Yeah, yeah, five years. Well, almost, because their, their SSRs came out basically at the end of the year. So, about four, four plus years later. So, uh, with that being said, um, with uh, their four plus uh, years later of uh, Awakening, <laughs> let's going to talk about them. So, um, so they do get buffed up leader skills. They both, uh, they both give three key and 90% of the stats uh, to Super Int respectively for Khalifa and Super Tech for Kale. They both still stack attack and defense. And one lowers defense and one lowers attack. Of course, lowering attack obviously being better. Uh, so, <clears throat> so uh Khalifa, 100% attack and defense at the start of turn and a uh, what, what's that? That's 20% attack and defense and a 6% chance to crit per universe six category ally on the team. So of course now she gets crit chance from her uh from her SSR form as well as uh, more um, stats buffs. And she gets 160% attack and has a 70% chance to dodge and launches a guaranteed super when there's an ally whose name is Kale attacking in the same turn. And she gets an additional 20% attack and defense up to 60% with each attack dodge. Very nice. And she launches a additional attack that has a 50% chance to come a super attack starting from the turn in which is character performance C6 attack in battle. And one thing I do I gotta mention is the fact that this card does get Shattering Limit because it awakens from World Tournament Medals, right? World Tournament Medals? Yes. That's still gone? Yes, because you're a world tournament, uh you're a summonable world tournament card, you slash reward card, right? So, um, let's go talk about Kale real quick. I'm pretty certain that Kale's still just gonna be a support type unit. They just buffed up her support type buffs. They gave her they gave Khalifa pretty much um uh, what 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 they give her? Wait a minute. Yeah, they yeah, that's all they gave her. Yeah. Pretty much a higher chance to dodge, uh bunch of attack when she has a kill attack in the same turn as well as a guarantee super and she's rewarded for each time she dodges she dodges three times she gets an additional 60 percent attack and defense as well as additional super attack chance when you perform the six attack in battle so she will get an additional super attack chance as the fight goes on so over to kale kale 160 percent attack and defense of the star turn and she gives a universe six category allies one key and 40 percent attack and defense and she gives pure saiyans category allies 20 percent attack and defense so if you're sitting right next to this khalifa you're pretty much going to be giving her one key and 60 percent attack and defense that's great support for the khalifa of course considering the fact that that is a just a world tournament um post awakened uh <laughs> um card so, uh, this card also gets 160% defense and a 70% chance to dodge and launches a guaranteed super when there's a Khalifa attacking in the same turn. And she gets an additional 60% attack and defense and performing super attack. Nice considering the fact that this card is stacking attack and defense. And this card absolutely will love the stats considering that this card does not have an easy A as of yet. And this card also launches an additional attack that has a 50% chance come a super attack when she performs the sixth attack in battle and of course gains shattering the limit. So uh, this card's um, basis is to just sit in slot, slot two. Yes, and support the Tech Khalifa with one key and 60% attack and defense. Have her 160% defense and 70% chance to guard, as well as her additional, you know, just guarantee super. <clears throat> as well as her getting 60% attack and defense when performing super attack from, from, of course, her passive to her super attack, like her stack and attack and defense. Obviously nice. And the low cherry on top for her just, you know, just getting her guaranteed super off and just continuing to build up is for her get to get that additional super attack for the battle so um with that being said khalifa um moderate well a bit of a low attack and defense above the star turn but still even if then starts out with an attack and defense above as well as getting stronger and getting crit chance uh, per universe six category character on the team gets 160 percent attack a 70 percent chance to dodge which is of course the thing that is saving this card as well as launching a guarantee super when you have a kill attack in the same turn granted you have to have the kill attack in the same turn for you to have that um strong ability of hers to proc she builds up attack and defense above each time she dodges and she launches a additional attack as a 50 percent chance come a super attack starting from the turn when she performs the sixth attack in battle a bit steep i wish dokkan would have just made that three attacks in battle but hey who am i to pick out a card 
And then Kale is pretty much going to be a, a, a stacking, uh, guard chance, support type card that just that gets a guarantee super as the well not, well, not a guarantee super, additional super attack chance as the fight goes on. Yeah, as well as having guarantee super built into her. That's it. Yeah, uh, the strongest defensive ability for her to fall back on is that 70% chance to guard. Um, even probably through the guard for difficult content. Um, and at least Khalifa has the dodge, but she needs a Kale. Um, I would easily say that if you're going to run this card inside of uh, difficult uh, content, I mean, you have to run a Kale. Uh, but you're probably not going to do that. Yeah, these are just fun little nifty cards. Just fun cards. Yeah, that's all. So that's going to be about it. Whew, man, I'm surprised I did not talk about these uh, gals uh, back then. So that's going to be all. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and peek at their 200% of these because I'm not going to really pick too too much about these cards. Only thing I will say is that they should have lowered this from six attacks to three attacks. Let's just be honest. So that way, let's say that they get their hidden potential uh, additional super off. No, well, their hidden potential um, normal attack off because that's a six attacks. Then by the next turn, they'll be able to have it. So that's why I say lower this from six to three for both of them. But that'd be it. That, that, that'd be the only thing I nitpick about these cards. Um, the problems with these cards is the fact that they are they're stacking free-to-play units that could very much be liabilities for difficult content. You would never run these cards in difficult content. Um, if you want to be uh you know, you want to go for shits and giggles, you would probably run Khalifa. Khalifa's your best bet. Because Kale is not taking normals, because at least Khalifa dodges pretty much so Khalifa is on four 200 percent of these skills um Vegeta leads gifted warriors yeah he does or prodigal warriors I think that's how you say that word it's prodigal warriors right no probably not um and uh, let's go back on over Khalifa's on four 200 percent of these skills and Kale girl what do you want let's see three yeah all right all right and her best thing upon her is Khalifa and they're getting 12 key, just so basically just a free super. 12 key, 33% attack, 23% defense, and a 5% chance to dodge. Khalifa needs that 5% chance to dodge. Let me tell you, the truth is it watering at his mouth right now seeing this. So, that is about it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Uh, join the 24-7 Discord server. Link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. And, yeah, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Peace.